Okay, got the crank all done. Got the rods on. So there's the ERP bolts. Anyway, so this is the uh, top of the rod. Then you flip it over. All those numbers, whatever. That's the bottom of the rod. That's where the uh, the bearing tangs are. Because apparently, when you're looking at the motor, you got cylinder number one. You want that tang to be riding on the bottom side of the rod, on the bottom side of the crank. So you got cylinder number two. That's the bottom of the rod. This is cylinder number three. It's the bottom of the rod. Cylinder number four, bottom of the rod. So, anyways, that's how you're supposed to put the uh, Subaru rods on. So I watched a couple videos. A guy said, you know, just lay it out, and all of them go on uh, the bottom, and. Uh, I watched a couple other guys, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, he's out in Arizona. Um, his camera guy is kind of a big bonehead asking too many questions. Um, but anyways, uh, he said to put all the tangs on the bottom. I watched some other videos where they put in all the rods like this, and they put in all the tangs on the bottom. But the problem is that this rod doesn't ride like that. And it rods like that. That rod rides like that. So you got to make sure it's on the bottom with the rod going the right way. So number four going that way, three going this way, two, one. Um, and if you don't know, your case will say cylinder number one, cylinder number three, cylinder number two, cylinder number four. So if you put the two halves together, this cylinder, uh, number one, sits most forward. So, that's why this case has a... It's not straight. It kicks in like this. Kicks out. This one. Yeah, actually, I take that back. This one sticks out farther. Yeah, never mind. Sticks out farther. That one kicks back. So, if you can see, this is the center of the motor. It comes in, it kicks out, kicks out like that. This is the piston cylinder number two. This is the case, so where this is the other one where it kicks out, comes out, cylinder one, two. Give you a better example, just move these around. So, Together, you can see cylinder one because it's the forward most, and cylinder two, uh, three, and then four because it sits back the farthest. So, so that's pretty much it. Uh, next, I'm going to. Uh, um, I actually have to wait because I'm not ready yet. Um, due to I had to order. These uh, O-rings. I got. I bought a kit when uh, I did the timing belt and valves and everything. I bought the whole kit, just a Victor Renz kit. It comes with all these, but from what I hear, this is uh, one you need to use for Subaru. So I ordered these from Subaru today. And it's a Saturday, and they're not going to be. The part's not going to be in until uh, Wednesday. So. Uh, right before uh, Christmas, so I'm going to try to get in there and get that O-ring. I ordered all four just to be on the safe side because I don't trust the these three in the kit I got. So that is where I'll leave it. And that's it. So stay tuned. <laughs>